Hello, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. This is going to be a quick guide on how to start your village. So the three things you're going to want to get sorted is firewood, water and food for your villagers. So the things you're going to need in order to do this building wise is a resource storage, a food storage and then basically they are the main things you're also going to want a wood shed too. So um, get yourself an axe and chop, preferably maple trees, because out of maple trees you get four logs per tree. So that is the most currently in game. So maple trees are the best. Collect your four logs. So the other trees you get are like around here there's spruce, which is these. You get like three logs per spruce. And you will get two logs per birch tree so once you got your logs then you want to come back to the carpenter's rack and then you will make some firewood so the carpenter's rack will be in the uh, woodshed so you will need a woodshed like I said at the beginning so craft yourself some firewood so that's what that looks like and then you want to take it back to the resource storage and throw it in the box so yeah you are literally putting your firewood in the box I just scrolled past it didn't I yep sure did so I crafted up one log does four firewood if you go into your management it tells you how many you're gonna need per day but yeah that's my storage right there so I've got enough firewood next up we're gonna get some water so using some logs as well we're going to go to the workbench. So yeah, you will need another station and that is the workstation because you want to be crafting buckets. So you will need a couple of planks for this. So yeah, make yourself some buckets and then travel on down to the water. Any, any water that you can drink, you can fill up your bucket basically. So uh, grab yourself a bucket and then equip it in one of the slots. I'm going to go with slot eight. And then this one I'll chuck in slot seven. So um, you equip your bucket, your empty one, and then just fill it up and it will switch to the next one. So once they are filled up, they will be in your food and water inventory once they are full. So fill up your buckets, you can see top left now I have four buckets of water for my villagers. You can employ workers to do the job for you, do the dirty work. So where you're going to store this for your villagers is going to be somewhere a little bit different. It's the food storage, now that makes sense. So all your resources like your firewood and tools and that go in the resource storage and all your food goes in the food storage. Nice and easy but people do get that confused. So here's my buckets of water, plenty for the villagers. And also this is where you're going to chuck your, like any edible food, they will take it straight out of the food storage. Um, so like apples, the berries, the beetroot, um, cabbage, carrots, cooked food like roasted meat, they will eat straight out of here. Um, the only thing they won't eat is like raw meat and stuff. They don't eat raw meat, so you will have to cook it or hire yourself a cook to do the cooking for you so um you i won't show you how to hunt you all know how to hunt how to put an arrow through a rabbit's head or you can make a trap like that nice and easy bit of food and it also gains some hunting experience collecting from the trap move this old bat out the way because she is hogging the workstation so then we chuck our meat on the grill that was super fast um, how do you like your steak? You, the villagers are going to have it pretty rare. To be honest, that was quick. So, um, again, once this is cooked, roasted meat there, just throw it into the food storage. And that's how you feed water and make them nice and toasty warm for the winter. So you want to set up all this before you start employing villagers. And then you actually employ the villagers to do the work. Sorry, random rooster. <laughs> You've um, caught yourself an arrow there, boy. 
So that's how you would set up your villagers anyway, by giving them food, water and firewood. So I um, hope this has been some value to you. If it has, then don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment down below, write literally anything. It all helps the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see some more survival videos because I love the tips and tricks. Oh, we've got a witness we need to take care of. Damn, she took that headshot like the Terminator. <laughs> Um, this is kind of awkward. I think we might have to love and leave the villagers alone now. We gave them food and water. What more do they want? Right, we're on our way. See you on the next one. Stay safe, stay entertained and take care.